is actually really sad. I just don't like it. I really don't like it. Just a few boxes to build. Anyone like building flat pack? Maybe it's time to call in reinforcements. <laughs> Good morning, hope you're doing well. Today is another moving vlog. We're packing. I've got a huge IKEA delivery coming. I'm quite nervous about it. This is the IKEA delivery that in the last moving vlog I was telling you I was on a hold to them. I was trying to push it back because obviously we don't move for two weeks. So ideally we didn't need to work out how to store this stuff, but they wouldn't let me move it back. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. So I will document that. I don't even know like there's a few wardrobes in there and there's some bookcases so the boxes are going to be huge yeah i'm excited for that to be done it just means we've got a lot more to move on moving day that's another load of stuff we've got to fit in the moving truck so i'm pretty sure it'll be a few journeys in that moving truck when we have it today i am going to attempt to sort of take some bits out of my office so i've been waiting on a brand deciding whether they needed the video before I moved before I started packing things up because obviously I need like a background to film in and I didn't want to pack anything that I needed however I'm taking the executive decision that I cannot put my life on hold and this brand I can't like fully make a great video when my office and like my life is like literally going turning upside down in the best way possible obviously but yeah so I'm I've messaged my manager and been like, look, can we hold it off? I'd rather do a really good job rather than half arse it because my head is not in the game at the minute. And that means that I can now start to pack my office. I'm also debating closing the shop for a little bit just so I don't feel bad like packing away my cricket and my printers and stuff. And it just means we can get things moving because this room is literally still full as normal. I've not packed anything out of here. So let me just show you what I'm working with. Um, I'm gonna go get some boxes downstairs and my friend actually works in a supermarket so he's dropping off some boxes for me later so it means we can actually start packing like trinky bits away so yeah okay let me show you what I've got to work with it's a lot this is my office if you've not seen it before this is the smallest bedroom in the house and I mean over the years it's progressed I guess I could insert a video of this a few times at one point this desk was facing this way and I really liked that because it meant I could stick my legs out however it took up too much room because as you can see it is very small a lot of my friends who watch my videos and then come to the office say that the office is actually a lot smaller in real life uh, and then there's a bed which does pull out to a double but obviously at the minute it can't because stuff's in the way currently storing this for the house in here this is like a shoe cabinet so this will be staying here till we move. Obviously I can pack away these baskets and stuff. I want to pack away all this, some of this. I guess I can put my memory thingy away and just, yeah, wish me luck. Mum's just come downstairs. We'll see if she fancies helping me pack if I lose the will to live. You gonna help? Yeah. Nice. So I might, st I might actually use like bits of clothes to wrap delicate things up. Cause then I'm like killing two birds with one stone, you know, and I've got a lot of clothes and they also need packing at some point. So let's go get the boxes, first of all. I'm going to stop rambling because at this point I'm just avoiding my responsibilities. Also, that throw that I got is still airing out on here. I actually might peg it outside the next sunny day we have just so it airs out properly because wow, she stunk. Okay, you. This is a charity pile. But you come in with me. I'm starting to realise it's actually very helpful that I do big orders <laughs> like I don't order things for a while and then I'll order a lot so I've been getting like quite a lot of boxes especially with like kitchen appliances and stuff they've been coming in boxes and I've been repurposing them which has been really handy actually let's do this shelf because this is not behind me in my background I've not even changed this happy August everyone <laughs> what date is it now anyway it's the 21st while I'm filming this I had a plant on here this is why this is mucky so I'm gonna clear this off some things I might not bring, like this, I built it, or I made it, just for a thing to do, and I don't love it. It's just being sat there, so, yeah, let's sort of clear this first.
actually really sad. Like, <sighs> okay, so we've got like two weeks. So part of me just wants to like leave everything out and be like, oh no, I'm just gonna leave things out. But I've made my office look so empty. I really don't like it. This is sad. Like it's exciting because I'm like starting a new chapter in my life. But it's sad because I've lived here for so long and like made this my own little sanctuary to work in. And now it's all going in boxes. I actually think just to kind of control my sanity, I might not immediately pack up the photo frame stuff because most of the photo frames don't actually have glass in them. I take them out so they don't reflect. So I think I could get away with like putting some photo frames up on the shelves. So at least it's not like really bare because I think that's going to be really depressing and I don't think I'm going to like it. And you know, if I can get round it, I'm going to give it a go. Like literally if I just put this up and then I could just find a box and pack them pretty last minute. I feel like we can get away with that. <laughs> this didn't last very long, did it? It's just so weird. Look. Like I've already thought I'm going to leave these up till the very last minute. But like, I just don't like it. It's all here. I really don't like it. So I've put that back up. I might put this one back up. I won't put this up because it's like glass. So that needs packing away safely. But I mean, this one's already come out of its frame. This is literally plastic. So this can get chucked in a box last minute and it should be okay. So I'm gonna put that back together and put it somewhere. <laughs> I'm like undoing what I've just done. Trinkety stuff can go. This is a fake plant, so it can just go in the box. It's like the realest fake plant I could find because I killed my old string of pills. So I bought a fake one. And then is this glass? That's glass, so I need to pack that and this one. How long do you think I can get away with keeping some stuff up? All right, I've just had a little moment to myself. <laughs> just processing these changes. I'm gonna get some clothes out of my room to wrap them up. As you can see, I've been slowly spilling out into the hallway for things. But I figured the clothes sort of in here, I've got like hoodies and stuff and I don't think it's gonna be cold enough for hoodies. Some of these things I might end up getting rid of eventually. So I might as well just wrap things Although, are they too thick? I don't know. It's been so long since I moved. I got in the swing of like moving in and out when I went to uni and now, I don't know, things are just a bit weird. Mm, like I know up here I've got winter clothes, but there's no real point in emptying these because then I'm just going to have empty boxes. I might as well just carry these as are, or as they are. So I might as well use these, hadn't I? Let's see if I can unhook this basket and take it in with me point of view you are a jumper about to be used as bubble wrap let's go <laughs> pause we are rearranging things so i can store more stuff so i've been called out into the garage apparently there's boxes in the roof of the garage that have got my stuff in i have no idea what they are because i didn't even know they were there we're gonna go and sort that out what even is in here we don't know. Wait, so it's packed? I think it's packed stuff. Right. See all this? That's all oh, mine? Tree decorations. Oh, it's my Christmas stuff. You don't need, you don't need to set that though. Cause no, because I can't I can't put it anywhere. So obviously I'm going to a new house. This Firstly, I can't use, use the loft because it won't be boarded out. So we've actually got a guy coming to quote us to board it out for us. But that might be a lot of money. So that might not even happen. And then obviously when I first arrive, don't have wardrobes, don't have bookshelves. <laughs> That's what's arriving in a minute. They'll, they'll be there, but they'll be flat packed. So is it really sensible for us to take everything no. in one day? It isn't, is it? I'm glad no. mum agrees. But we also need to take enough so you're know, like we're gonna have the moving van for one day and then after that it'll just be cars so it's kind of working out the balance of like leaving stuff behind or just i don't know i don't know oh i have my printer box up there yeah. oh that's good which printer oh it's my cricket box this white one that's packed we need it down it's got my toilet roll holders in it <laughs> why is that the only box i remember i, don't know. <laughs> I knew there was a reason we saved things like this I 
think we've dealt with the garage the best we can. I've, well, we've just found the box for my big printer. So this one, which is currently just a shelf. And let me just sit down. And I was actually really nervous about moving that printer because obviously it's expensive and I didn't want it to get battered. The likelihood is that'll be coming, not in the moving van, that'll come in the car. My Cricut has a box, which is good. What else did we find? Some bags for like bedding and stuff and cushions. I've got a lot of cushions. I have an issue with cushions. Got a lot of throws. So we've got things to put stuff in, which is good. My mum's just had an idea though. When I told her that I was sad about taking things off my shelves, she said you might as well put things back up that you're leaving here so there's a lot of stuff in my bedroom that i won't be taking because it's just not my vibe anymore i'm not sure if mum will keep them she might end up donating them but in the meantime i might as well put them in here because that means i can pack everything without my office looking so bare and making me sad i think my mum and dad feel the same actually it's like a mixture of like so much excitement and like obviously they're really proud of me and they keep telling me how excited they are for me but also i've lived with them for 26 years and I'm moving out and it's very weird. It's more definite, it's just strange. So yeah, right, what should I do next? I need to wrap these things up really, don't I? I've left everything on my bed. So I'm gonna use these jumpers and sort of wrap these up and hope they all fit in here. <laughs> I think it might be a bit optimistic, but we'll give it a go. everything that was on my bed but that box isn't full so now i'm just looking around feeling very lost <laughs> working out what to pack i've done like three quarters of a box and now i just don't know what to do maybe it's time to call in reinforcements <laughs> <sighs> let's message mum she's literally downstairs but help i have lost the will to live and just sat on the floor Staring. Help me, mummy. Did you read the rest of it or did you just read no. the help? <laughs> so help, and you ran. help, I've lost the will to live. <laughs> You're getting sad now. It's just weird, isn't it? It's sad and then it's. My camera died right as its cavalry arrived. <laughs> but we've decided, or well, mum's told me, we're going to pack the cricket because I'm not going to need that in the next two weeks. It's that thing of like, oh, should I pack it or mind I need it? I'm probably not gonna use it, let's be real. The most things I'm gonna need out of here is my laptop and the two printers, I think. Surely that's it. Like I can pretty much, and obviously all the stock and everything, but that's staying until we've built the drawers. I am not taking all that stock when I've not got anywhere to put it yet because I need to buy some like Ivar shelves from Ikea, but I'm not buying them until I've got in the office and like put everything in and then figured out how like wide and tall I want them to be. So I'm going to leave like all my packaging stuff because there's like packaging up there. There is a drawer full of stock. There's also a drawer full of packaging and then there's all this has got stock in as well. So yeah, I'm going to leave that for now. So I guess cricket is the first job. And I'm going to put all the cricket supplies and like materials in that box, like I said. dear <laughs> just a few 
few boxes to build. Anyone like building flat pack? <laughs> Come and join <laughs> and help. Oh gosh. Well, I'm gonna ring my boyfriend now and show him all the work we've got to do. We just took some photos for Instagram and like the thumbnail of this video. I just, it's a bit, it's a bit excessive, isn't it? <laughs> God. And, that's oh. not cool. and it's not at all, that is half the order. We've got the other half coming in a month, but I need to ring them up and change the delivery address because obviously at the minute my, our new house doesn't exist. So I need to like get a delivery address. Oh, there's a spider on my camera or on my arm. Ugh. It's going to be covered in spiders when it, when it comes to my house. It was a little money spider. If it was any bigger, I would have ran. <laughs> I'm going to FaceTime my boyfriend now and show him what he's got to do. Let's pretend he's not going to build it, is he? No. It's going to be me. I'm the handyman it's out of the two of us. And you. It'll be me, you, and then my best friend and her boyfriend putting them to work. We're just checking that everything is here. Hinges? I don't think they were getting delivered. Oh, hinges. I Four pack. Should be five. Five, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Clothes rails. Three. Shelf. Which shelves is two? Fifty mil. Fifty. Three. Cent. Three, yeah. Now we're looking for billy things. I think it's these ones because they're shorter. Forty by twenty eight. Forty by twenty eight. There's one of them. There should be three of them. Forty by twenty eight. Two. Three. So that's them top three? Yeah. So that one is... They're the doors, aren't they? Oh, Wardrobe doors. All right, we've made some good progress. The IKEA delivery is all correct, which is great. The rest of it isn't coming for another month, which is so annoying. But I'm sure you've heard that story as to why. Uh, I actually have like put to one side these little key rings that I've had for a while. So mum and dad bought us these little personalised key rings from Etsy. I'm covering up the second initial but how cute so we've got matching ones they're like the opposite way around i just think they're so cute so we have those and then uh, i also have another personalized uh, key ring which i've got saved downstairs ready which i got for my birthday and then i also have this which i got from sai and yeah these are all saved ready to go on the keys so i need to put these in a good spot so i remember i'm gonna take them with me on key day and put the keys like straight on there and we'll get a little photo together or something so yeah i think we've made good progress let me just show you what the office looks like now so the shelves are cleared of most things i've got these two prints and the mirror thing to pack but as we all know i had a bit of like a moment so i've left them out the booby jar is out because i'm not taking it with me these are live plants so they need to obviously stay out until the day uh i've emptied some more of these drawers and the things left in here now is like equipment but i don't want to put these away i'm waiting on a brand to confirm and approve a video before i can feel comfortable basically putting stuff away so that's clear i've cleared the windowsill which is good these drawers are as clear as they can be for now there is like wires and stuff but i think i'll just chuck them in like the equipment box i've left the printers out for now but i like i said i've got the boxes for them this is an empty box my friend gave it to me she ordered a coffee machine and then realized i needed boxes so this is empty ready to pack this box is half packed these are now empty We've taken some of the paper out the bottom of the wardrobe and then this is what the hallway currently looks like so i'm going to put this back in my wardrobe for the jumpers i'll probably end up using them for packing later and then the drawers that my cricket were on was on uh, i think we're going to put them in the shed for now because they are coming to the house but not until we have a shed which isn't going to be instantly i think that's going to be like early october so these just need to be like out the way these are the two boxes we've done and then we've got some rubbish my cricket is over there and then we've got some recycling over there so yeah i think we've made good progress today it feels really good to get it done um definitely still feels really strange i'm actually really excited that the ikea stuff has arrived because that's a big element that needed to not go wrong basically uh, so i'm glad they're here it is a pain that we're gonna have to like move them twice like we're gonna have to Rather than them being delivered straight to the house, which would have been ideal, we're going to have to like put them in the moving van, but that's fine. As long as they're here, we can work it out. Um, and we've got helpers helping us build them. Then I think that's it for now. So I'm going to end this moving vlog here. We're actually going out tonight, me and my mum, 
to watch cage fighting and it should be a nice little night so i'm going to end the video here i'm going to put a little bit more makeup on and get changed and go out so that's it for today's moving vlog i hope you've enjoyed watching this video don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already because there are a lot more moving vlogs to come and i'm very excited so i hope you are too thank you again for the support it means a lot and i'll see you next time for another one bye <laughs>